Howdy, y'all. I'm Brylan. So AOC has been displaying a wide range of emotions over the last week and a half. Gee, I wonder why. Well, in this video, I want to show you three clips that perfectly encapsulate the radical liberal mindset, okay? This is AOC's initial reaction to Trump winning the presidency right after it was called. And then I want to show you how AOC answers the question, do you think woke loses elections? Her answer is mind-blowing, and I think it will open your eyes to understand where these people are actually coming from. And then I want to show you this most recent video where AOC asks Trump voters a very specific question, but I'm going to show you how it's a trap. And then for funsies, I'm going to show you something that she just did on her ex account that's going to blow you away because it completely goes against the radical left agenda. Hey, real quick, would you consider hitting that thumbs up button? You know, when you like this video, it'll get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread the truth. So here's AOC's initial reaction. Listen to what she says about Trump winning the presidential election. We are about to enter a political period that will have consequences for the rest of our lives. We cannot give up. We now find ourselves in a time in history that has precedent and we find ourselves I believe in a time where there are, let's say, peers in history of mass movements of people that mobilize to protect one another in times of fascism uh, and authoritarianism. And this is the era that we are poised to enter. Um, Donald Trump has talked about turning the military on U.S. citizens that he deems his domestic political enemies. Um, authoritarians and people that he affiliates closely with and strong men abroad uh, in regimes like that, it is not uncommon to jail political dissidents or legislative opponents. Um, this is the world that we very realistically may be entering. Such a dire outlook on a man that has already been president for four years and, well, did none of that. These are the same people that have weaponized, literally, the government against American citizens. That have persecuted and prosecuted American citizens, Christians, for doing things that they disagree with. For instance, I've shown videos on my channel of Christians being arrested for singing hymns outside of an abhorrent clinic. And, well, you see what they've done to Trump, uh, all the, the, the cases that they brought against him, the charges that they brought against Trump, literally weaponizing the government against their political enemies. And she makes it sound like there's going to be some sort of fascist regime in office. These are the same people that want policing for social media, that want social media uh, websites to be held accountable to the government and uh, held to certain standards that the government decides what those standards are. These are the same people that don't want you to have the ability to bear arms and protect yourself against fascism. These are the same people that have cut everybody out of their lives for not thinking and, and doing exactly what they say and think. Just watch any liberal reaction video to Trump winning and all of them are hysterical lunatics screaming at the top of their lungs and telling about how they've completely cut their families off, their mothers, their fathers, their brothers, their sisters, their best friends. Whatever it might be, they have cut them completely out of their lives because they are not worthy to, to even live, to breathe. And so what you're seeing here is a regime that, well, has its power is being threatened. And they hate that. 
They want to have complete and utter control. That's why they are so uh, militaristic with the way that they come down on people. They must squash the opposition, but they are the morally good ones. And so she's just stoking fear, trying to get the left to rise up. I mean, you heard her, uh, mass movements rising up. She's trying to get a very large group of people that are known to be violent, known to cause destruction. Look at the last several years. Look at 2020, all the things. Trying to get them to rise up and cause mass destruction and go against the will of the people because the minority must overtake the majority of Americans. Even though Kamala lost record numbers of black voters, Hispanic voters, women voters, you name it, all the groups that the left claims to care about, Kamala lost them because people see through this leftist regime. Yet it is the left claiming that the right, claiming that Trump, that conservatives are going to be the ones that implement everything that they have done for years. Now, this is another video that she posted where she talks about Uh, do you buy the argument that woke loses elections? Example, like saying Latin X or all the woke things, all the things that the left has determined you must say instead of actual words. You know, instead of the actual truth, the left has created a new dictionary that you must use um, and you must say. Otherwise, you are a bigot. You are hateful. You're a uh, Hitler. You're all, you're all the things. Personally, I don't. I think that a lot of voters really don't like fake people. And they're sick and tired of fake politicians. Mm-hmm. And so what I actually think is worse is saying something you don't believe. And so if during the entire time in campaign <laughs> season, <laughs> you're... <laughs> saying that you're down with trans people or like the LGBT community and then you lose an election and then the next day you say all that stuff was wrong. I actually think what people are more upset about is someone was doing something they didn't believe and just saying something. Like if you actually weren't about that life why did you campaign as though you were? So AOC's response to if woke loses elections is no, she doesn't think that woke loses elections. She doesn't think that Kamala was demolished because of how radical uh, Biden and her have been over the last four years. She doesn't think that this radical left agenda pushed a record number of Americans to the right, to Republicans, to where we had an historical election. No, it wasn't because the left is too radical. It's because they're not radical enough. It's because they don't actually believe in their radicalness enough. Um, This is what's terrifying. This is what turns people off. Um, You know, you see the left come out all the time and virtue signal to everybody under the sun except for the evil white man. What AOC is saying here is that The issue isn't the wokeness. It's not the radical nature of the left. It's not that they want to demolish America. It's not that they want to demolish the constitutional republic that we have and that has been so successful and that has allowed anybody and everybody under the sun to gain an enormous amount of success if they just put in the work to do so. Her answer is that it's because the left, because Kamala essentially, Kamala lost... This is her reasoning, it sounds like, that Kamala lost because she didn't actually believe all the radical things she was saying and doing and implementing. She didn't believe it enough. People could tell, wait a minute, I'm completely down with all of your radical, insane, destructive agenda, but you just don't believe it. So I'm going to vote for Trump. Everybody knows this is uh, just another farce. Uh, this is a lie. It, 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 one, it doesn't make sense. It's just not real. This isn't logical. But again, the left doesn't go based on logic or truth or facts. None of that. They have made up their own reality. And that's what you're seeing here is, is a denial of the reason that they lost in a historic way. And she must justify it by saying they must push harder. 
But instead of just pushing harder with their radical left agenda, you must believe it more. So you must believe not truth, not reality, more than you did before. And then people will get on board. And then people will be okay with you destroying their lives through the economy, through you know woke radical agendas being pushed in schools, with uh, children being, you know, turned into all kinds of things that they will never be able to reverse, with taking life in the womb, with everything, you name it. And don't forget what she said in her video reacting uh, immediately after the results of the presidential election where Trump demolished Kamala. Um, You saw that she said a bunch of things. Do you think she actually believes that Trump is going to be a fascist like the left is literally is? Do you think she actually believes that? Of course she doesn't believe it. She knows what she's doing. She knows what she's saying. But there are plenty of people out there that watch her, that follow her, that follow the left, that listen to lamestream media, and they actually believe this rhetoric. They believe the lies that have come from the left. And that's what she's doing. Uh, She knows that her answer here about whether woke wins elections isn't right. She doesn't believe this. She knows that it was the reason that Kamala was demolished in this presidential election. But they can't say that. So again, the conundrum comes up that she gives here that she has to say something she doesn't believe. And she knows people won't believe that she's saying it, but it's Not the fact that she's saying something she doesn't believe. It's the fact that she's saying something so radical that is disconnected from actual just people, real, normal, everyday Americans. In fact, I want you to see this. This was uh, Acacio Cortez's ex account just, well, a couple of days ago. This is what it said. Look, do you see here outlined in red or underlined in red? It says she, her. Those were AOC's pronouns. Now, she believes in all this radical agenda. She believes that you must state your pronouns. She believes in the radical left agenda so much that, well, where did those pronouns go? And the left is going bonkers over it. People are losing their minds that she took her pronouns out of her bio on X. It's because she knows woke loses elections. Listen to this question that AOC asked Trump voters. Which podcasts are you listening to? Which accounts are you subscribing to? Um, I'm interested, like genuinely. Let me know which one specifically, which accounts, which podcasts, etc. So she says, Trump voters, which podcasts, accounts, people do you like? This is, she, and she, she prefaced this by saying, genuinely, just trying to understand. I just want to keep an open mind. I just want to hear who you're listening to. I, I want to hear what their thoughts are. Yeah, no, this is the same person that just said woke doesn't lose elections and that has called for lists, black lists of conservatives within the government so that they can be targeted. So now she's suddenly asking, who do you listen to? I'm genuinely curious. Listen, all of this perfectly encapsulates the left. An unwillingness to take accountability for how radical they've gotten. And they try to justify it by saying that they just have to be more radical. That's the issue. They're not radical enough. And you have to be more radical, but you have to believe it too, because people, you know, you just, people just don't believe it enough. And then people can see through that they don't believe it enough. And that's what loses elections. And also just a whole heaping mound of contradictions coming from her mouth. Uh, This is, this is the left. They, they have completely lost touch. They are completely out of the realm of reality. And we know this. They're creating their own truth. You can do and be whatever you want, even if it isn't factual, even if if it isn't true, even if it's outside of reality. If you believe it, then it is the new truth. And so these same people 
are living outside of reality when it comes to why they lost in a historic way. Is that any surprise? Well, no. Look at Psalm chapter 9 with me. This is a wonderful psalm, verse 9 and 10. The Lord is a stronghold for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And those who know your name put their trust in you. For you, O Lord, have not forsaken those who seek you. You know, the Lord will never forsake us. The Lord is in complete control. No matter how radical or how crazy the world gets around us, the Lord is in control. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, join this community. I would love to hear from you on a regular basis. And please hit that thumbs up button if you wouldn't mind. You know, when you like this video, it'll get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread the truth. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.